Okay, Tesla earnings yesterday, um, been scheming, been thinking, a super important conference call for changing about how to think about the company and this focus on the self-driving car. Uh, Tesla's going all in on FSD. Um, Elon is literally quote going balls to the wall on it. He kept referring on the last conference call that if you're gonna invest in Tesla, you're betting on the company solving autonomy. You've got to try FSD 12. He was harping on this idea that the technology that Tesla has been working on for 10 years to bring self-driving cars to the masses is ready. Um, so I've just been doing research and thinking about this and it's a huge shift for Tesla to really make this bet. Um, the cyber cab potentially being unveiled with a Tesla ride hailing app competing with Uber um, on August 8th of this year huge things are in the works. And so there is this podcast that is blown my, this is the best piece of content. Um, and shout out to the hyper changers and people on X who've been referring it to me. I finally got around to listening to it. Um, I've listened to it twice today. I'm talking about BG2 episode four, um, two venture capitalists, Bill Gurley and Brad Gerstner. This is all in vibes, but a lot more chill. I mean, I, this was, these guys are two goats in the venture capital world. Bill Gurley, benchmark capital. He was on the board of Uber. Um, I mean, who, he literally has a competing vested interest with Uber um, when thinking about self-driving. And these are two independent, no affiliation with Tesla um, of the smart, smartest technology minds in the world. So I want to triple down on that. Like these are, you know, you can hear all these sources about how good is Tesla FSD, what's happening on the ground. But these two technologists who've been on the ground investing in tech at the frontier for decades now, just did, they put out this podcast. Um, it was released a month ago on March 7th, 2024, actually almost two months ago now, only has 77,000 views on YouTube. Uh, you've got to check this out. The first from minutes three to 12, uh, basically break down the changes that has have happened with Tesla's version 12 of the FSD, um, how they've gone from basically coding every single scenario and labeling everything to actually having something that just processes the data and thinks for itself, true AI to drive the cars. This is what Elon's been talking about forever and it finally clicked. These guys do such a good job at explaining such a complex technological change, why version 12 is so much different, why now Tesla is reliant on massive amounts of video data and because of what they're doing with V12, their moat looks bigger than ever because they have millions of cars on the road um, collecting huge amounts of data, uploading tens of gigabytes, if not 100 plus gigabytes per month per vehicle um, in certain cases to optimize their neural nets, redeploy them with new updates, their entire flywheel effect with the vertical integration of actually owning the robot or vehicle on the ground, being able to talk to HQ update those neural nets and have the most data by far. How they actually think this is gonna be the right technical stack approach to be able to solve FSD, the amount of radical changes in an internal company level it took to rip out everything they were doing before and go all in on this new FSD V12 rewrite. I've watched FSD get insanely good. I've been using V12 in Seattle, definitely getting to the point where it's extremely useful as a driver and I would never wanna buy another car without it. Um, but hearing these guys break down um, how good it was and how it was a chat GPT moment for them. Um, they also go on to talk about how they should drop the pricing of FSD, which then has happened maybe because of this podcast. So uh, I just wanted to give y'all a shout out in the hyper change world. I'm buying Tesla stock for the first time in years. I'm doing diving deep on my own personal due diligence hyper change, my investing diary. Of course, I'm going to tell y'all what I'm thinking, but this has been the best piece of Tesla content. Um, understanding FSD, understanding why it's important, understanding Tesla's advantage, understanding how hard it would be to compete with them. Uh, you know, you, you think about the hype that OpenAI and ChatGPT, I'll leave this here, you know, 100 billion, hundreds of billions of dollar company on this new LLM models. Well, Tesla's been doing a different type of neural net models with real world AI um, that is was happening before, but finally now, essentially the hardware and the vehicles and Tesla's ability to use that hardware with a certain amount of data is good enough to get the models to actually be useful. Um, and Tesla is leading the way in a totally different type of real world AI that no other company is. And so you look in the private market valuations of open being worth hundreds of billions. Um, I just think Tesla right now is getting very minimal to no credit for its AI, AI division, a billion in CapEx alone for AI last quarter. Um, and they're on the cusp of potentially licensing this out to a ma major automaker. It's gonna share the liability. It's gonna validate the technology. It's gonna create a domino effect where everyone in the industry has to partner with Tesla. Their data flywheel is gonna ramp up even more. Um, we could be at the cusp of something insane for Tesla if they figure out FSD and this podcast, B2G, BG2, episode four, Tesla FSD V12, uh, Brad Gerstner and Bill Gurley, some goats just dropping knowledge. I've been binging every episode of their podcast since then. I just re listened to this Tesla one twice today because I am so fascinated and they've done another one that's a little more recent. So check it out. Even Elon on the conference call saying even if he got kidnapped by aliens, they would still solve FSD. That's how in the bag this is. They're rolling it out to the masses. 
Um, the stock market has no idea how big this is um, and how Tesla is about to be showcase and validate themselves as a leader in a new type of real world AI um, that's going to potentially unlock trillions of dollars in market cap. So I'm buying, not financial advice. Let me know what you think. Peace.